Hi, in today's lecture we will be finding out the inverse of a matrix. For all of us those who don't know what is an inverse look like, inverse of a matrix is denoted by A inverse which is adjoint of A by determinant of A. Okay, let us consider I am having a matrix 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the adjoint of A and determinant of A, whereas the adjoint of A is adjoint of A is the transpose of cofactors of A. Now to find out inverse of a matrix we have to first find the cofactors then determinant and then we have to do the inverse of the matrix at last. This whole process takes up a hell lot of lengthy time to avoid this lengthy time trick. So the trick to find out 2 cross 2 inverse matrix let me having an A matrix of 1 2 3 4 so A inverse will be simply 4 2 3 and 1 and I will be negativizing the random diagonals which are the from bottom to up. This will be the A inverse in 2 cross 3 matrix. This is the trick for 2 cross 2 matrix which means if there is a matrix A which is A, B, C and D I will be having a A inverse of D, C, B and A whereas I will be negativizing the B and C. This will be the A inverse of 2 cross 2 matrix. Now for an example I need to find out inverse of a matrix of a 3 cross 3 which is for an example 1 2 2 2 1 2 and 2 2 1 this is a matrix now firstly I will have to find out the determinant of A that is for this purpose I will be giving out the two of the columns on the other end 1 2 2 2 1 2 for those who don't know the determinant method please refer to the previous of the lecture in this method I will be giving out 1 1 1 as product of 1, 2 2 2 as it will be 2 2 4 2 8 2 8 and 2 2 2 again it will be 8. Now I will be minusing the upper of the diagonals that will be 2 2 4 minus 4. Now 2 2 4 and 1 that is minus 4 and then again 2 2 4 minus 4. The determinant comes out to be now the determinant of the matrix is 5. Now if I want to find out the inverse of the matrix, I will again copy write down the same of the matrix A cross 3 cross 3 which was 1, 2, 2 and 1, 1 sorry 2, 1, 2 and it was 2, 2, 1. Now what I did previously was I copied two of the columns. So I will make them copied right now 1, 2, 2 and 2, 1, 2. Now the extra work which I am going to do is I will be copying these two rows at the bottom of it that is 1, 2, 2, 1, 2 and this row to the bottom here 2, 1, 2, 2, 1. Now what I will be doing is I will be exempting these two of the rows. Okay, I have exempted these two of the rows and I will be taking A inverse as one of del A which is determinant I have found out that is turns out to be the 5 and now I will be figuring out our matrix which will be the A inverse matrix. Coming up on the matrix that will be the first item which we, is supposed to be represented over here will be coming out from the first four of the elements. Now these four of the element is 1 1 ja 1 and 2 2 ja 4 that is 1 minus 4. Now the second of the element which is on the column wise that will be coming out from the row itself that will be 2 to the 4 minus 2 1 to 2 that is 4 minus 3 4 minus 2 sorry and now the third of the element will be coming out from the third of the row that is 2 to the 4 minus 2 again 4 minus 2. Now coming up to this part I will be going up to 2 1 2 2. Let me make it clear by the second color of the pen. This of the column will be giving this of the part that is 2 to the 4 minus 2, 4 minus 2. This part will be given by 1 1 1 minus 4 that is 1 minus 4. This of the part will be given, giving this part that is 4 minus 2 again. Now this part will be giving this one. So 2 to the 4 minus 2, 4 minus 2. This will be giving this part 4 minus 2 again. 
and this will be giving the last part that is 1 minus 4 again. Proper solution of this particular problem it comes up to be A inverse as 1 upon 5 that was the determinant and here comes our matrix from 1 minus 4 that is minus 3 2 2 again here also 2 minus 3 and 2 again and here also 2 2 and minus 3 this comes up to the A inverse of the matrix which is simply done by a shortcut trick.